Hey all, today I want to talk about what you can do with Entreport. So much more than you think. Um, you know, of course we all know that you can do marketing with Entreport, you can do sales with Entreport, but, and, and they talk about you can run your business in it, but with the addition of custom objects, you can really run your business with it. And, you know, one of the things people think about with custom objects is they think, you know, kind of the obvious example is I run a vet and I've got, um, I'm a vet and I've got pets. So the owner is the parents and then we've got these child objects, which are their pets. So we can have things happen for each individual pet. And then the other obvious example is we've got employees of one company. So the company is the parent and then the employees are all the children of that parent. And those are cool and those are kind of obvious examples but you can do so much more. So today I want to show you on the show you this cool setup I've been working on that is running part of my business and that is my podcasts. I want to show you how I'm doing my podcasts using custom objects. And this is just a brief overview of, of how it's running but I have if you go in my account here you'll see I have the regular stuff but I've also got three custom objects. I've got leads so I'm tracking all my leads with custom objects. I've got appointments. I'm tracking all my appointments with custom objects and then podcast episodes, which is the one I want to show you today. Uh, we won't get into these other two, but it, just so you see, there's so many other things you can do. But the podcast episode thing is pretty cool. So here we have a list of episode topics I'm thinking about, and I just put them all in as ideas. So these are all concepts for different podcast episodes. But we can also look at, here are my completed podcast episodes. Now you're going to see some more detail. We'll see what date the episode posted on, the episode number. These are all completed. Um, and then who the guest was on that episode, what the title was. And uh, yeah, pretty neat. If we look at one I just did, and I hope Aaron doesn't mind. But I just did an interview with Aaron Williams, who's another consultant, that's going to be coming out next week. And let's, if we dive into Aaron's here, you can see all these different pieces I have inside of this tracking every podcast episode. So there's all kinds of automation that happens with this. It's not just tracking it. So once I come up with the, the concept, I invite people and I invite people to be on the podcast. I invite them through... Twitter, Facebook, uh, maybe email out of my regular email account. Well, once they say, yes, I want to do it, then I add them to a sequence that is a guest invite. So it sends them an invitation to fill out a calendar to be on my show. And once they fill out a calendar, um, then that brings in the appointment inf information. It says, we're going to do this on, in Aaron's case, we did it yesterday. So on 322, we're going to do an interview uh, 322 at 11 a.m. Going to talk to Aaron from Aaron Automates. And that's when we're going to record the episode. So Aaron would get then uh, reminders about when we're going to inter do the interview. And, we'll, and you would say, hey, you don't need custom objects for that. But if I interview the same person more than once, now each individual episode is tagged with them. So if we went back to... If we went back to look at the overview here, you'll see that I am, I uh, did some solo episodes and I'm the guest on the solo episode. So I have multiple episodes in my account all linked to me. So if I went to here and I went to my contact record and I found my podcast, where's my podcast? Here we are, podcast episodes. You'll see all the different podcast episodes I've been on and actually I have two pages worth here um, so these are all the different podcast episodes I've been on and it tracks each episode individually so heading back over into podcasts you know there's my podcast episode um, but going back to the one I did with Aaron so uh, yeah so once she schedules a time now she gets reminders uh, we record the show oh well as part of the reminders I'll show you this too is she gets a form to fill out. She got a form to fill out. It comes pre-filled with info up above for the info I know. And then uh, the guests give me bio, image, 
uh, URL of their giveaway and URL of Facebook page or group. And all that then comes into what I call the show assets section down here, where I've got their image, URL of their giveaway, uh, Facebook link, their bio, where I'm going to find their bio. And then once I record the show, now I record the show, I take the raw audio file and I put it in my Dropbox and I give a link to that raw audio in my Dropbox. The other thing I also do is I put, I type up a brief show notes. As soon as I change this to post-production, which is what it is right now, so I've got these five, I've got these different stages. I've got a concept, guest contacted, guest scheduled, post-production, scheduled, post, and completed. As soon as I change it to post-production, it fires off a task to my producer, Travis. So now Travis has the all it, it sends him a task with all the info down here for the show assets as well as a link to the raw audio. He downloads the raw audio, does his magic to it, and then he uploads. He fill, he gets a form to fill out and he puts in that form the URL embed code. He's putting the embed code here for the final show. So he posts the show, gives me the embed code, puts that back in here. As soon as that is updated... There's a rule that looks for that to be updated. As soon as that is updated, it fires off a task to my VA, Roz. And Roz gets all these show assets. And then she goes into my uh, website and posts all of this and makes it all look pretty. So it's going to show up on my website um, on the post date. So I assign a post date to it. And then once all that happens, on the post date which this show will air on the 28th, Aaron, the guest, is going to get an email that says, hey, your uh, show posted, and here's the URL so you can share it and promote yourself. And Roz will input that URL when she puts it on the website. So when she puts it on the website, she shows that her task is done. She has a form where she puts in the URL. As soon as she does that, then it uh, changes this to completed, and adds the guest into an email series where they will get updates about when the show posts and things. So anyway, it's a pretty cool setup, but I'm not just showing you that just to show you how cool it is. I'm just trying to open your mind about all the different things you can do with Entreport outside of I'm going to send emails and I'm going to sell stuff. It You can set this up to run all kinds of things in your business, especially with the addition of custom objects. Because now we have uh, we have unlimited. I mean, we have all this power of different things: leads, appointments, podcast episodes, um, company relationships. You know, anything you can relate to another, you can automate and do inside of Entreport. Uh, way cool! I thought I would share that with you, and uh, there you go.